everyone well i think that we are live this is my lunch time i know i didn't give much time uh, most of you know that uh, we get winter in texas and many um thousand well million one million point four still this morning didn't have electricity we've been blessed only about two hours yesterday we didn't have electricity but it seemed a lot of people around us don't have electricity and if you're from up north you're gonna say whoopee you know five inch six inch eight inch well in the south the house are not built for that so the pipes are not really like for winter pipes they burst and so on and uh, nothing is built for this weather including for the roads and so on so the airport is still closed till 4 p.m they got some de-icer but the big snow cloud they don't have that to clean the runway and all that because this is uh history i mean last time it was in 84 i think that uh much snow so it don't happen often and if we do have a frost it's just a little light frost uh, we can have maybe flurries, but uh, nothing like we get now. So uh, that's why I thought, okay, we're going to go live, but where is she? I got some company, and I blame it on, oops, the other way here. <laughs> I blame it on her that she brought the cold from Wyoming. So I told her, next time you come to visit, I want her to come in uh, like um, July, August. So she can cool off the weather, right? So this is Ollie. She's going to be here too. We're going to be alive this Friday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. And that is for the double fan pole. This is my live uh, thing here. This is where my class go when I prepare from that. So that's, I got a corner for everything. So I'm going to share three size of the double fa uh, fan fold. This one fit in an invitation envelope. This one fit in a regular envelope. And this one here, I think it's one of my favorite size for this one. And we're going to do a simple envelope without the envelope punch board. Very simple. I think you're going to be in awe uh, and they all. So this is the class Friday night. So you want to join us Friday night. It's 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So uh, save the date. It's going to be right here. Today it's create on the, well, pretty much create on the fly. It's my lunch time. And we're going to do the, uh, I'm trying to see the comment there. We're going to do this cute little card, but this time more in the bronze. And so uh, I already uh, color all my donkey. Um, what else? That's about it. So let's get, and I'm using punch in one size of the punch, it's retire, but uh, the layering circle if you don't have that punch. So let me flip you down and we're going to get started. Uh, project. Here we go. So we're going to do this card. If you remember, a couple of years ago, I did something like this, but it was with the pig, okay? And the one with the pig, I put the direction, the direction, the link to the video. It was a live video also, right in the description of this video. And when this one is done, I'm going to put it at the end. So it's similar to this, but this one here, watch what's going to happen. Watch it, watch it. Voila! Is that cool? It's like a slider under. So, um that's the chicken it's back you know the hay chick and right now if you purchase purchase any of the hay chick you're gonna get a dozen project download from me so that's going on right now so the hay chick we had in 2017 now we get the dyes to go with it that's brand new release and we get a birthday chick so the chick the donkey would go perfect in uh, those uh, things so I wanted to share with that. So this one, it's a regular, it opened regular, okay? So I think that I can, maybe if I do this, no? 
I'm trying to adjust the light just because I think that's going to be good with uh, it's bright bright outside right now so we're going to do this one but I wanted to share this it's kind of similar it's a peekaboo window so you get the link below also in the description of the video I get all the measurement the link for the measurement and all the supplies it's one link you click on that you're going to have all the supplies and in this description of that you get the measurement so I got my donkey this one was colored in the crumb cake and these one are colored the one that we're going to do we're going to do the donkey and um a smoky slate and basic gray pretty much but it's all the same thing the same paper for the front except the card base this one it's the basic gray and this one we're gonna use a uh, soft suede uh crumb cake and this print and this print they are in good taste designer series paper so the first thing you want to do you're going to take the top layer of the one that you want in good taste and you're going to put it on a cardstock and the reason why i say put that on the cardstock like this it's because that designer series paper it's too flimsy for what i want to do okay so um because i'm going to pass my thing and i'm going to do window i did it a little bit smaller my layer in the back so then i don't have to worry to put it in for your circle it is one and a half so you place something around one and a half now i'm going to do one here and I do not measure and then I'm going to put another one a little bit more in you want to make sure you keep a little bit around those so you can put your um, I like to have a frame around my window and then we're going to put this one right here so I don't have measurement you know for where I just click and go happy okay now where was I inspired by that it's miss ollie she did this she saw something on pinterest or facebook but look at that little eye there is that the cutest thing so or she used the dies and she just popped in this designer series paper also it's from a uh, celebration including the donkey it's the celebration so that means if you place an order of fifty dollars you're going to get the donkey for you can choose the donkey for free it's many other things so that is one the that's the ombre paper also ombre you can choose that also for free so you get many things to choose but know that we're at the last stretch this end february 28th so we're at the last stretch of celebration don't think like in the past we had all the month of march well now we got january february for celebration and then they're going to bring back another celebration not the same product it's going to be different product in july and august so don't get fooled from the previous year that you think that you get till the end of march celebration with these product and at the end of the month february 28th and so remember february it's a short month okay now we get that for the frame you're going to do with the smallest circle it doesn't matter uh, with a die you can nest them maybe you have to make sure that uh, die wouldn't touch together or uh, you would have to be separately Will you give me the circle die so I can show them? See, it is so nice to have Ollie here. I can say, do you want to give me this? Do you want to give me that? Yeah, she's a bit of my guinea pig. And then I go with the biggest uh, circle. And then I got my uh, frame. Now, if you do with dies, you're going to do... I got the stitch die here it doesn't matter which one so you would do the the smallest one it's the one that you're going to cut your window okay the biggest one it's the frame but see those one fit perfectly so you can cut it at once and you're going to have your frame like this 
whatever size of the dies that you're using, the small one, it's the see-through, the peekaboo or the window, and then the bigger one, that's what's going to make the frame. Same with um, if you use circle, oval, always the smaller one of your frame, it's what you're going to click the opening. Okay, we got this done. Now, we're going to go ahead and put our windows that I know I get two more someplace. That's what happens when you move your stuff around. Hmm, huh. is that funny? Here they are. Here they are. Okay, so um, one thing I didn't put in my... Um, supplies i going to add because i think the silicone mat it's a big plus to have when you work with bits and pieces like this so i'm going to go ahead and just add my um, liquid glue in the back and then we're going to put that on our frame so uh, this one it's more in the brown so i'm going to use the gray donkey so they're going to pop out because i didn't want to put gray donkey with the gray window it would uh, blend pretty much together because the back it's more a uh, gray so now i'm using more brown so we're going to use the gray donkey so this way you can see both of them it's no right and wrong if you want to put your donkey blue put your donkey blue Here we go. And one more. So if you join us from the south that it's freezing, I hope that your electricity is back and you're staying warm. Here we go. Now, I got all three uh, of the, uh, I'm going to say monkey, all morning I've been saying monkey, it's darling donkey. So, I'm going to put the one that sit right up here. So, um, I just like to take a little bit of glue here. going to put it just on top here, in the back of the gear. Then I'm going to bring that right here. Then I'm going to go in the back and just lift that up a bit and put a bit of glue there. Now we're going to go with the other one. I'm going to put that, well, like this. And then here, the bottom, I do the front because it go in the back, okay? This is in the back because it's going in the front. This go in the front because it's going in the back. Make sense? Now we're going to put that right here. And plus, I'm going to have some dimensional in the back of them. So it's just to secure them now. So I could put, uh, see, the hiney here like this. Or I'm going to put this face here. But you see how Ollie, I think that is so funny. She's going to send that to her grandkids. See what the behind me? I think it's way cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and decide where this is going to be in the front. And just a tip there, just barely. I get some glue there. I won't worry about it till it's dry. Then I can erase it. Okay, so now we get this done. The other piece that I am using, it is another piece of the In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. It looked like, a, I don't know, cement board or slate or whatever. It's the back of this one. And this going to go in the back there, but... I want to um, raise that up so it looks like they're inside the barn or whatever. So we're going to use dimensional. Okay. 
like I said, I'm going to put the dimensional in the back of my creature to just keep them safe. Now I get some bits and pieces of perfect place to use that. And then um, I learned from Pat, Miss Bling Bling, um, you know, sometimes you struggle peeling this off. Well, you can peel the top, the bottom, and that is it. You don't have to peel the rest because really you get that for your layers, right? To, yeah, like a layer so it don't cave in. Now I'm going to put the other piece at the top here. And see, you didn't have to fight with removing that. So that's a little tip for you if you struggle removing those things. Now, I am going to scan. Here I'm going to use... Um, Hey there. And I'm going to stamp this with Early Express. So the other one, like I said, all the supplies that I share, it's with uh, the gray, but the color different instead of basic gray and smoky slate, it's crumb cake and soft suede. So really, soft suede, soft suede. I'm going to use soft suede for my greeting so then it's going to be easy to remember soft suede and um base uh soft suede and crumb cake now i'm using the oval punch let's fix that up here Okay, I got a little post-it note that I keep handy. I just take a bunch and glue them. Now I think this is what was giving me a problem. And now let's slide this in. Mm, I can be a little bit lower, so let me cut this a little bit more. And then you can take a sponge job dauber or a, a sponge. I got my sponge right here. And let me add some. So just to make that stand out here. Inside, I use the stamp set Happy Tots. Um, the greeting in that was great to go with a dear friend. I'm going to share it with you in a second. That I put that directly flat because I already got the dimensional in the back of the other layer. So to make it more friendly to mail, I didn't want to add another dimensional here. There we go. Then we're going to mount that here. And we're going to mount that right here. Whoops. One minute, Sesame. Okay, you're going to see my head a little bit, but all is good. Okay, inside this one, I'm going to do one donkey so you can see how simple it is to color. But this one here, see what i done? Uh, just wanted to send happy thoughts your way. I thought it was perfect with a friend. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my donkey. Oh, we do get uh, the memento. Okay, we're going to bring the memento here. And I'm going to stamp him. Thank you. So then you can see how I color them. And like I said, very uh, simple, nothing uh, blending. Even if I'm using the blend, I didn't really blend this. So I'm going to put, it remind me of ER sometimes. This one remind me of ER. Now for the hoof, I think it's called the hoof, the legs. I use, um, no, not pedal. I use... Um, I think it was ivory. No, 
that's like petal. What did I do with? Put ivory in the very bottom yesterday. Here we go. It is ivory. Got it. So I get the ivory. I'm going to do the little oof. And the muscle also. Now, we're going to use basic gray. I, I, I mean, um, smoky slate. I'm going to start with the dark. I'm going to do the tail. I'm going to do his little oof on the head here. I'm going to do the ears. And I just go around, I keep a little bit of white just in the center here. And then you get a little bit on the eye there. And then I'm going to do the legs in the darker. So that's the basic. Uh, I mean the regular one, the, the dark. And then I'm going to go ahead with the light, smoky slate light, and I'm going to color, and we're going to keep some white around one of his eyes. If you see, uh, I got a spot of white here, spot of white, so I just give him some character, see that? So you decide where you want to keep some white. And then I just went and color. I color most of the afternoon yesterday, I think. Here we go. I'm going to keep him a spot there. So th that's what I'm saying. You can, I know some people would fuss and fuss and do a lot more with that. Um, I didn't fuss. Um, now I'm going to blend that a little bit more here with the other tip though. I didn't fuss a lot with that. I just went happy and color. Now I took flirty flamingo. Yes, flirty flamingo. I asked Ollie, I said, what color did you put in the ears? And Ollie came up with flirty flamingo. And you just do one little line here. See, now you get that little bit of pink there. And then we're going to put that inside. So that is it. So that's how I um, done all my donkey. And the other one, it's crumb cake that I use for the brown. Maybe some of them, maybe I use a little bit of soft suede, but mainly it is crumb cake, the light and the dark. See? Thank you everyone that shared with other. So now you got it in both colors, in the brown and in the gray. Again, all the supplies that I use, you get the link in the description of this video. Also, the measurement is going to be there. And for this card, um, soon that this video is done uploading from live, I will add it at the end of the video. But till then, you can see that in the description also. Oh, yeah, I see some people don't have eat. I am so sorry. Like I said, we've been here beyond blessed. We went a few hours without the heat. It was nothing. We were just saying, oh, maybe it's time to bring the blankets. Uh, the only sad part it was, it's, uh, it happened uh, when we got up yesterday morning. So our coffee was not done. We were just complaining we needed coffee. But no, we didn't get cold or nothing. So we've been blessed. So let me flip you back. So um, that was it for this uh, lunchtime. Don't forget, Friday, 6 uh, p.m. Mountain Time. So that's going to be uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We will be live for the double fan fold in three different sides. So that's about it, my friend. Have a lovely day. Till next time, happy stamping. Don't forget, celebration, it's towards the end. Bye-bye for now.